Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Crunchwell's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm aquaba to you. Today, I'm sharing with you a very simple but so delicious fried rice recipe. And I know definitely that you will love this. So for this recipe, you will need some eggs, some chili pepper flakes, white pepper, scallions, onion, carrots, ginger, some soy sauce, and your cooked rice. This is three cups of raw rice that I cooked. So I'm going to start by prepping my vegetables since my rice is already cooked. And I start off with the scallions. And now I'll dice my onion. So this recipe, I'm not using a lot of vegetables that I would typically use like the green peas and all. It's just the carrot, the scallions and the onions and some eggs, but it's so delicious. And now I'm grating my ginger. I never make fried rice without ginger. Like once I discovered the difference that freshly grated ginger makes in fried rice, I haven't gone back. I always add it. So my most recent thing to do is to julienne my carrot for the fried rice. I did it one day just out of the blue and my daughter who is very picky just liked it. She said, mommy, I love the carrots this way. So that is the new way mommy will cook it. I'm adding some olive oil into this very hot pan. And now I add my chopped onions and I'm just going to let this cook, you know, while stirring it until it sweats a little bit. And then I'll proceed to add the other ingredients. I think my onions are good at this point and it's a good time for me to add in my eggs. So I have cracked my three eggs and I'm just trying to make space, a little bit of room. And then I'll put this here and I'm just going to scramble it actually. So uh, I already tried to break the yolk and now I'm going to go ahead and stir just to scramble it. So my eggs are cooked at this point and I'm going to add my grated ginger. That is the real game changer. I can't even express it enough. If you've not tried grated ginger in your fried rice, you need to try it. That alone is going to make everybody that eats it see that there is a big change in your recipe. So I let the ginger cook for about 30 seconds to a minute. And now I've added my grated uh, carrots. How Ivana likes it is julienne. It's skinny and that way she loves it. And I, I like it too, like really. So I'm just going to let this cook a little bit. And now I'm going to introduce some heat to this dish. So I've added some chili flakes and I'm going to add a little bit of white pepper, which is mostly for some flavor. It gives your fried rice a very great aroma as well. So between that and your ginger, this is going to be like very, very delicious and flavor packed. Now I'm going to add in my rice and I'm going to do it in bits. So it is very well mixed up with the vegetables and, you know, like it's a very uniform mixture of rice and vegetables. So this rice is pre-cooked and it's cooled all the way. And that is how you want to make your perfect fried rice. Your rice should be cooked in advance and, you know, cooled all the way if possible. So we're going to, going to I've added everything else that is left. And I'm going to make sure that this is well mixed up. So this recipe came about one day. I woke up one morning. It was my day off. My husband had to go to work. I had worked like four days straight. There was no food in the house. And we typically take our meals to work all the time. I looked in the fridge and the ingredients that you see here that are the exact ingredients that I had plus some shrimp. So I made shrimp fried rice this way and boy, was it good. So I was like, I really have to share this with my YouTube family and my Instagram family. And I hope you try this and you love it as much as we do. So I've added my soy sauce at this point. It's three tablespoons of soy sauce and that is all you need. Plus some salt. You know, I needed to add some salt and I, uh, I added it. I know I didn't. Uh, take up that part but you will taste it after your soy sauce and if you think you need any salt you add salt the rice was cooked with no salt so uh, at this point i've added my scallions and when the scallions go in and it's all mixed 
you know, this dish is done because I always like my scallions to be the very last. And as soon as they go in, I turn off the heat. And now we're just going to stir one one time and then turn off the heat. Let the residual heat take care of the scallions. And I like them to be fresh. The aroma that it brings to your food, whatever you make, once you add fresh onions, cover and cover, just so good. Just so good. And just look at this. Dinner served so easy. It took us like 25 minutes from the time I started chopping the scallions to the end of everything. That is all it took. Such a great 30 minute meal. You can make it on the workday. And best of all, the leftover will be so good to take to work or have another day. Look at this. So beautiful. Very simple ingredient. Very few of them, but so good. And look at that grilled chicken. It paired beautifully with this. I hope you try this. You will love it. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.